Hi, I'm Carly McAvoy. I wanted to do another expected value problem, this one having to do with insurance, because insurance is all about expected values. So for an example, a certain insurance company has determined that there is a 0.9975 probability that a 30-year-old woman will survive for the next year. When you're a 30-year-old woman, the leading cause of death for your age group is unintentional injuries. So most of you, obviously, over 99% of you can expect to live, survive for the next year. This is based on the United States. So based on that probability, the company offers a $100,000 life insurance policy for $180 a year. So let's say that somebody new came on and said, hey, let's offer this insurance policy. So first of all, as the person who's being insured, as the woman who's buying the policy, what's the cost to that person if she survives the year? Well, if she survives for the year, she loses $180. That's her pay-in. So if she survives, she doesn't get anything for that. She just loses her money. What would be the benefit to her beneficiaries if she does not survive the year? Well, the benefit would be the $100,000, but what did it cost her? Sorry, I should have said, what is it costing her? Because that's really what I'm interested in. It's costing her, She get, even if somebody, if she got the $100,000, um, she would lose the hundred eighty dollars that she paid in, right? So the actual um, profit there would be $99,820. So the question could be, what's the expected value for the woman buying the policy? Well, we have to know two things. The probability that you're going to live and have to lose your $180 and the probability that you would die and you would get the $99,820. I'm saying you would get it. It would go to whoever you have sent it to, right? So um, the probability that she lives and has to lose $180 is 0.9975. So if we take 1 minus 9975, we get the probability that she would actually get this payout. Or the, that's the probability that the insurance company would have to pay that money out. So the expected value then, we add up the two values. And so we take the 0.9975 times negative 180. That's her losing her money most of the time. And then we add to that this 0 0.0025, which is the difference between 1 and 0.9975. And we multiply that times the profit from that payout, which is $99,820. And when I did that on the calculator, I got positive $70. So her expected value is $70. So the question then, is the insurance company set to make money on these policies? And the answer is no. If the woman has a positive expected value, then the insurance company would be losing about $70 per plan that they sold. They would expect that most of the people would pay $180 and never get anything for it. But if they started to have a few people who passed away, they would actually start to be losing. They would end up losing an average of $70 per plan. They would either have to increase, increase the premium, let's say they're going to charge $250 a year, or lower the benefit to maybe 80000 a year to actually see a profit. So that's that's what you have to look for. If somebody has an, if one person has a negative expected value, then the other person has a positive and vice versa. So if we look up here at this example from before, when the person who owned the game was going to make $0.50 cents per roll, then the person who was playing the game was set to lose 50 cents per roll. That's how that works. So for this insurance company problem, if the woman actually has a positive expected value, then the insurance company is set up to lose money on that policy. And so either the person who came up with that idea would be fired or they would fix it before they sold too many of those. All right, have a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time.